So we just want to express our sincere gratefulness and how proud we are of all of you guys for standing up these yep. last 48 hours, letting this hospital know that our staffing is not adequate, it's not safe, it's not safe for the patients, it's not safe for this community. We also want to say thank you to our community that walked with us, all the people that donated, all the people with the kind words, the, the honks underneath the skywalk that just echoed through that building. We know those honks were heard. We know our voices were heard on the inside. I could say uh, they doubted us that we would come out in numbers. They didn't, they didn't think we'd pull this off, but uh, seeing all you here and everybody who walked the picket line, and it warms my heart because I could swear there's 400 of you and there's probably twice as many uh, members of the community that were there with us. So, you know, you guys did a great job. Thank you for coming out. Um, it's very disappointing what we saw happen and uh, I'm, I'm sure the public's gonna know. I would like to comment on uh, the door malfunction on the Nelberg building. Yeah. <laughs> I hope we, we belong get... in that building. Yeah. We belong in that hospital. Yeah. There is yeah. nobody better to take care of our patients than us. This hospital has chosen outsiders, agency staff to do our jobs. That is not right. We are not in agreement with the safety of our patients right now. Those patients need to be cared for by us. Yeah. yeah, we called for a strike for 48 hours. It was supposed to end at 7 a.m. We were all here prepared to go back to work, and we were not allowed to. So remember the fact that they would rather have these temp people that they brought in from out of town caring for our patients than allowing us to come back to work when we said we'd be back to work. Please keep that in mind. We were supposed to be in that building at 7 a.m., and they didn't allow us. This administration has showed us that profits mean more to them than patient care given by our hands, our youper hands, our strong youper hands that need to be in that building taking yep. care of our patients. Yeah.